question that keeps coming back. How does the T20 compare to a classic vibe or even to a Mexican Telecaster? Well, <laughs> honestly, my first reaction to this every time is like, what the f***? <laughs> I couldn't really see the point in comparing a very entry-level guitar such as the T20 uh, to much more expensive guitars like a classic Vibe 50, for example. I mean, come on, the Squire is far superior in every single way, and I would choose a classic vibe instead of a T20 every single day, obviously. Well, mm, would I through? It's not that simple, actually. <laughs> First thing first, uh, I've honed both, and yes, this choir is a much better guitar. From wood choices to electronics and pickups to hardware, I mean, it's kind of like night and day, but that's expected, right? Uh, one is 80 euros when the other one is like what? Uh, math. I'm not good at math, but it's like five times more expensive, right? I think they're both great value for money, they just don't play in the same league. That said, true, I might go for a T20 actually. I know, I just basically told you the Squire is a much better guitar. And I think it's fair to say that is an objective statement, yes, the Squire is much better. But there's one big major difference between these two guitars that relates only and entirely on subjectivity, which is the neck profile. Yes, the neck profile is just so different on these two guitars. And if I loved the classic vibe, I really did, I only sold it because the neck was way too thin, slim to me. Though I don't think I have big hands at all, uh, just I like, it's just a matter of taste anyway, right? Necks and profiles and everything. But as I mentioned it in my full review of the T20, this neck is quite fat, which was really surprising for an entry-level guitar like this, and quite frankly, I love it. So at the end, that's why personally, I might go for the Ali Benton. Yes, again, the classic vibe is a much better guitar, objectively. But I'm having more fun with the T20 just because of the neck profile. So my point kinda is, it's not only always about the quality of the guitar itself. It's not only about wood types and how old is the wood or where does it come from. It's not only about pickups, uh, are they and wired somewhere, or which brand it is, is that expensive. Uh, or hardware, or you know, it's not only about the brand of the headstock or how well finished the details are on the guitar, you know, when it comes to painting and stuff. It's about feeling comfortable and having fun playing it. So I feel like the neck profile is often underestimated in comparisons like this, when it's such an important thing, right? So yes, again, the classic vibe is a much better guitar. And again, that is expected. One is 80 euros, the other one is like 400 euros, I think. But don't underestimate the huge difference a neck profile can make to your experience with the guitar. You can always upgrade parts later if you're into that, you know, pickups and hardware and everything. But it's a whole different story when you want to upgrade a neck because you don't enjoy playing it. In that case, I guess the guitar wasn't meant to you in the first place. I would love to hear your thoughts about this, actually, in the comments below. Uh, 
you know, don't hesitate if you disagree with me on something here. Debating and exchanging opinions and experiences is always a great thing. So that was it for today. Hope you're all doing very well, healthy, uh, have fun and be funky. <laughs> Bye, ciao.